this is like the 12th time I've tried to record this and it's my first YouTube video and like I don't even know so we'll see how this goes um so we're supposed to drop a pin for my women's studies course on a map and the pin is supposed to represent a place or anywhere if you, that you really want to put it um that has meaning or relates to your idea um, about women's studies or a feeling or an event that caused you to think or feel a different way about an idea that you've learned or something you've heard relating to women or suffrage or um, anything along the lines or um, that's caused a significant amount of thought or feeling for you and um, well, that's my understanding anyway. Um, so, for my pen, I chose to express a poem or read a poem that a professor of mine, Dr. Dr. Bonnie Finkelstein, has introduced to me, or had introduced to me, and it's entitled, I Want a Wife. It's by Judy Brandy. And uh, here it goes because, again, this is my 12th time doing it. And yes, yeah, so I'm sorry if I'm not doing this right. I've never, again, made one of these things, but no. Yeah, here we go. I want a wife. I belong to that classification of people known as wives. I am a wife, and not altogether incidentally, I am a mother. Not too long ago, a male friend of mine appeared on the scene fresh from a recent divorce. He had, a ch he had one child who is, of course, with his ex-wife. He is looking for another wife. As I thought about him while I was ironing one evening, it suddenly occurred to me that I, too, would like to have a wife. Why do I want a wife? I would like to go back to school so that I can become economically independent, support myself, and if need be, support those dependent upon me. I want a wife who will send me to school, and while I am going to school, I want a wife to take care of my children. I want a wife to keep track of the children's doctors and dentist appointments, and to keep track of mine too. I want a wife who to make sure that my children eat properly and are kept clean. I want a wife who will wash the children's clothes and keep them mended. I want a wife who is a good nurturer and attendant to my children, who arranges for their schooling and makes sure that they have an adequate social life with their peers, takes them to the park, the zoo, etc. I want a wife who takes care of the children when they are sick, a wife who arranges to be around when the children need special care, because of course, I cannot miss classes at school. My wife must arrange to lose time at work and not lose the job. It may mean a small cut in my wife's income from time to time, but I guess I can tolerate that. Needless to say, my wife will arrange and pay for the care of the children while my wife is working. I want a wife who will take care of my physical needs. I want a wife who will take who will keep my house clean. I want a wife who will pick up after my children, a wife to pick up after me. I want a wife who will keep my clothes clean, ironed, mended, replaced when need be, and who will see to it that my personal things are kept in their proper place so that I can find what I need the minute I need it. I want a wife who cooks the meals, a wife who is a good cook. I want a wife who will plan the menu, do the necessary grocery shopping, prepare the meals, serve them pleasantly, and then do the cleaning up while I, am, while I do my studying. I want a wife who will care for me when I am sick, sympathize with my pain, and loss of time from school. I want a wife to go along when our family takes a vacation so that someone can continue to take care for me and my children when I need a rest and change of scene. I want a wife who will not bother me with rambling complaints about a wife's duties, but I want a wife who will listen to me when I feel the need to explain a rather difficult point I have come across in my course studies, and I want a wife who will type my papers for me when I have written them. I want a wife who will take care of the de details of my social life. When my wife and I are invited out by my friends, I want a wife who will take care of the babysitting arrangements when I meet people at school that I like and want to entertain. I want a wife who will have the house clean, will prepare a special meal, serve it to my friends, and not interrupt when I talk about things that interest my friend, me and my friends. I want a wife who will have the arranged the children are fed and ready before bed, before my guests arrive, so that my children do not bother us. I want a wife who takes care of the needs of my guests so that they feel comfortable, who makes sure that they have an ashtray, that they are past the 
Avoirs that they are offered a second helping of the food and that their wine glasses are replenished when necessary, that their coffee is served to them as they like it, and I want a wife who knows that sometimes I need a night out by myself. I want a wife who is sensitive to my sexual needs, a wife who, ma who makes love passionately and eagerly when I feel like it, a wife who makes sure that I am satisfied, and of course, I want a wife who will not demand sexual attention when I am not in the mood for it. I want a wife who assumes the complete responsibility of birth control because I do not want more children. I want a wife who will remain sexually faithful to me so that I do not have to clutter up my intellectual life with jealousies. And I want a wife who understands that my sexual needs may entail more than strict adherence to monogamy. I must, after all, be able to relate to people as fully as possible. If by chance I find another person suitable as a wife than the wife I already have, I want the liberty to replace my present wife with the un another one. Naturally, I will expect a fresh new life. My wife will take the children and be solely responsible for, responsible for them so that I am left free. When I am through with school and have a job, I want my wife to quit working and remain at home so that my wife can more fully and completely take care of my wife's duties. My God, who <laughs> wouldn't want a wife? So, my, the reason that I love this poem, and um, many people don't realize, and I, myself included, that this poem doesn't mention any genders when um, it's going on all, all throughout the whole poem. There's no gender mentioned. It just says a wife. Um, it doesn't say he, she, her, him, um, girl, boy, male, female. It just says wife. And many people like to think that it's a woman automatically and it doesn't have to be a woman and those duties don't have to be done they can be a mutual partnership and i think that's kind of interesting that we all jump to the conclusion well not i'm generalizing um that most people jump to the conclusion that or assume that this is a wife's job or duties and in 2014 i think we should all be a little bit more open and not have these thoughts and realize that men and women can do the same things and um, if a wife wants to do these things then go for it if a wife wants to do these things then go for it but a wife doesn't have to be just a woman a wife can be a man um, uh, I guess the saying goes anything you can do I can do better well why can't we do them equally in regards to this so I don't know if that makes sense I'm kind of rambling but that's why this poem goes so bad to me um the, I just think that we should all have equal responsibilities throughout a household um, we can't just fall on one person um, put more in a, of an explanation and um, people should probably read through it again just because it is such a long poem and you're going to want to see that it doesn't mention any genders. And I um, think that's about it. I'll do a little explanation of why I specifically like the poem. Um, I can also say it, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah. But I'll just put the explanation down in words so you don't have to hear my rambling again and watch this silly video of me going on. Um, but who wouldn't want a wife? Thank you.